love it when we start the science spot. <laughs> Craig Beals is here from uh, Billings Senior High. We've got gloves. We've got safety goggles. Yeah. What are we yeah. doing today, Craig? Well, I've brought in mom's favorite healing um, hydrogen peroxide. So, you know, you get a cut, mom puts some hydrogen right. peroxide yeah. on there. Come to find out, science says it doesn't do a whole lot other than make <laughs> really? you sting and squeal a little bit. Yeah. So, if you have moms at home that are putting hydrogen peroxide on wounds, <laughs> it's really just to antagonize their children. That's about Perfect. it. Perfect. But it is cool, especially in the science lab, because of its properties. So, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, which is very close to water, mm -hmm. but with a little extra oxygen on there. Now, hydrogen peroxide is constantly changing into water. It's just very slow. So when you put it on skin, it bubbles. That's changing ah. into water and oxygen. So um, to model that, I've brought something special in. So it's a good thing Russell's here because we've got a nice big oh, chunk oh. of oh. beef liver. So look at that. This, if you know, if you had a major wound, I guess at home, and mom decided to come put some hydrogen peroxide on there, I'll put my goggles on. Okay. Um, I'll do I'll do this one first. This Here, is the stuff can, that I'm gonna tip this up. Can I tip it up? Yeah, right? tip it up. Um, this is the stuff that mom would put on the wound. Now, what's gonna happen is this. The reason that I've brought liver. Liver's got a whole bunch of an enzyme. Where are we at? Right about here. Yep. Called catalase. And what that catalase does is it very quickly turns hydrogen peroxide. So you can see it bubbling. Yeah. Into water and oxygen gas. Your body naturally makes hydrogen peroxide when it's metabolizing food but um, it, it's really harmful in the body, so your body gets rid of it with this protein. Okay. So this is the stuff that mom uses. Okay, all home. right. That, that's this the low-grade stuff. stuff. Yeah, this is the stuff that we use in the lab. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide. This is 30%. Okay. So it's, that's oh, why we've oh, got so the great gloves. It's up on. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Now, the reason it's in this cool bottle is it's constantly decomposing, and when it does, it's fizzing up like that, which means this bottle will grow. If we had it in a regular bottle, mm -hmm. it would potentially just burst. Blow up. It wouldn't be good, yeah, okay. if anybody was standing here. do that. So I'm going to give you this one, Russell, after okay. I fill it up, and you can go ahead and drip it on there. This <laughs> is, okay. this is 30% right. instead okay. of 3%. Hey, by the way, Ed, you know, this is beef liver, but when you hold it like that, you turn it into a beef tip. Oh, oh look at that. There we are. <laughs> so look how, I don't know if you can tell the difference. Wait, this one wait. doesn't even hardly run off. It just bubbles up right away and makes a big clump of bubbles oh, yeah. because there's so much more hydrogen peroxide in got it. Got it. Yeah. So we've got um, the catalase in here, the enzyme, the protein is making that happen very quickly. But I've got something that'll make it happen even more quickly. Oh. <laughs> Which is why I we love always this. have to take this Which to the is next why level. We've got, I'll take that oh. one. Whoa. We got the big Which beaker out we, now. Yeah, we've got the big graduated cylinder. So it kind of looks right. like chemistry class in here today. Oh, um, He's going to bring the whole cow in for this right. one. Yeah. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is when we add this, it's called potassium iodide. Okay. 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 It's similar to the catalase uh, in the way that it acts. But the trouble is we can't, we'll just see a few bubbles. This is Dawn dish soap which wow. means maybe it'll help us see a lot more sure. bubbles. That's sort of the goal here. Um, so we've got that. This is the potassium iodide. I'm going to put it in a little bit of water here. And the reason we're doing that, we're just dissolving it. I'm going to let you hold that, Ed, and pour it in in just okay. a moment. And this is going to bubble up and fizz and do some pretty cool things. We call it elephant toothpaste because elephant have big teeth. Right. So they need big toothpaste. And if you're going to have toothpaste, you should have, you know, some cinnamon flavor down one side. So we're going to put some red in that side. <laughs> and you should have mint on the other side. That's right. Like, oh, sure. Why what is you? that? Aquafresh? Or yeah. I mean, that, that works. It's just what you should do. Yeah. Yes. That's just what you should do. <laughs> really no reason. So okay. we've got some blue and red in there. Okay. And then what I've got here is that hydrogen peroxide, the good stuff, the 30%. And we're going to go ahead and add these at the same time. If that, we swirl that up just a little okay. bit. And we'll go on one, two, three, and we'll watch this hydrogen peroxide <laughs> decompose. Ready? One, two, three. Wow. Look at that. There Whoa. it goes. A little science cocktail. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that is some there elephant go. toothpaste. Yes, yeah, so that's the same that's thing. That's perfect. <laughs> it's the same thing that was happening on the liver, only much more quickly and with a little bit of soap involved. So wow. That's cool decomposition of hydrogen peroxide, and now we've got elephant toothpaste. This is hot. This is an exothermic reaction, so there's a whole bunch of heat coming off of here. Okay. If we had a flame, which I didn't bring one for obvious reasons, Thank this you. is all oxygen. So oh, we could basically like stick a flame boom. in there, and we oh. wouldn't have a kaboom. We'd just have a nice flame come off the top. Make s'mores. 
There you go. That's right. Yeah. We could have cooked the liver. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we will. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Oh, you learned welcome. a lot this morning. That was cool. That you're was welcome. cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks oh, for having me. You're yeah. welcome. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. yeah. A little got, science on a Monday. Yep. Remember, Craig Beals and uh, the website. BealScience.com. Beals Just Science. a bunch of this com. going on. There, there it is. <laughs> right at the bottom of your screen. Back with more after this on Montana This Morning. <laughs>